Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to look at the person that you're currently in a connection with of some sort. We're going to look at your energies, their energies, and your mutual energies. Um, this will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching or every Sagittarius watching. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, and check out your other placements for more messages. I am taking personal readings. The description box will have all that info um, and as well as any of the decks that I'm using. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get into it. Spirit, messages for Sagittarius, please, regarding the person they are in a connection with. Messages for Sagittarius, please. This will be for May 2020. Forgot the month. <laughs> messages for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, especially those of you that take the time out of your day to leave me such sweet messages. Thank you. All right, let's look at your mutual energies. What are your mutual energies with you and this person? Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands. Okay. What else can you tell me? Okay. So I'm seeing two things here, Sagittarius. I'm seeing one of you wanting to fight for this and one of you being tired, but deep down you don't want to give up. It's almost like it's been such a long road. There's been so much BS to deal with. But deep down, you're not giving up. I feel like for some reason, there was a struggle in your relationship or your connection. And you, you want to come back out of the cold. You want to stop being so cold to one another. And you want to have stability again. You want to have long-term commitment. You want to have a happy home. So let's see, we'll look at your energies first on this side and their energies on this side, but feel free to flip the rolls if they resonate more, okay? I'm just going to move these up like this so I can have some more room here. Okay, Sagittarius, let's look at your energies first. Tell me about Sagittarius' current thoughts or feelings towards this connection spirit. Sagittarius thoughts or feelings. Oh, the Emperor Rever... Oh my God, what is going on? The Emperor Reversed. Anything else for Sagittarius' thoughts or feelings? Feel free to flip the rolls if they resonate more, guys. So you could be on this side or this side, okay? Pick whichever one resonates. Two of Wands. So I feel like you are at a crossroads here, but you feel a little powerless or like you're not sure of your decision. Tell me more for Sagittarius Spirit. What are their thoughts or feelings towards this connection? Yeah, you're not fulfilled. You're not emotionally fulfilled about whatever is going on in this connection at this time. Okay, so let's look at your person. What are their thoughts and feelings? Wow, that was fast. Six of Cups. So they're having, they're going over the memories, the good times. They're remembering things about you. Um, thinking of the past here. What about this? This person's thoughts or feelings. Tell me more. Three of Wands. Reversed. So this person, um, I feel like they were heading towards you, but something blocked them. Or whatever they were planning on, there was bad planning. Or it just never went anywhere. Ten of Wands. A burden's being dropped. And Ace of Swords reversed. Someone's not being honest. Someone's not communicating well. Something is up here. I just get the feeling that if you are together, you're not happy 
together. Or there's something that if you're not together, it's because something couldn't really get started here. And I feel like it's because someone wasn't able to communicate honestly. So there was no beginning here. And I feel like this has put a strain on your connection. Almost like there's um, there's been a separation of some sort, if not physically, then emotionally. Bottom of the deck, two of swords reversed. Interesting. So someone has either is refusing to make a decision or has made a decision finally. So let's clarify these. Spirit, help me clarify these messages, please. For Sagittarius, regarding the connection they are in at this time. Messages for Sagittarius, please, regarding this connection. Okay, let's start with this Nine of Wands. What can you tell me about this Nine of Wands, please? What can you tell me about this Nine of Wands? The Lovers. Sign of Gemini there. Um, I feel like this connection was, there was it, was, it was a very strong connection, but there's something about it that is just been through a lot. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. Thank you. Yeah, there, there was no success with the Six of Wands reversed. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles reversed. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles reversed, please. Seven of Wands reversed. Interesting. So I feel like someone here stopped fighting. Stopped fighting something. Maybe someone was very stubborn and they don't want to be stubborn anymore. Um, this is also someone who's kind of given up or is trying not to give up here. Hangman reversed. Someone here wasn't willing to give something up. And it kept them stuck. It kept this relationship or connection in the cold. Because someone wasn't willing to give something up. They weren't willing to sacrifice something. But I don't think they like where they're at. I don't think they like the way that... that what their decisions, what the consequences were, they don't like that. They don't like the consequences of their decisions. Thank you. I can't talk for some reason. So tell me about the seven of wands down here. This could be someone fighting for this connection, someone defending themselves. Two of cups reversed, my God. So there was definitely a breakup here. Someone possibly stood up to this person over here and was just like, it's not gonna be just your way or I'm not happy. Knight of Wands. So I feel like this person, this person is trying to, to rush in and repair what happened. And this person's just like, but it didn't work out. So I feel like this is both of you in this connection. One of you is thinking about what didn't work out and the, and the other one is thinking about fixing this connection because there's potential. Tell me about this four of wands. But something happened here that put, there was um, some sort of coldness or emotional distance struggle in this connection. And I feel like someone here with the seven of wands reversed, they were fighting for it at one point and then stopped, they gave up. And then with the hangman reversed too, this is someone that didn't can't let go of something even though they gave up or refuses to see something clearly. Hmm. Tell me about this four of wands. Regardless, this per this no matter how this person acts, deep down they want to get out of the cold. Tell me about this four of wands. Knight of Pentacles reversed. It might take this person a long time to fix this connection, but the Knight of Pentacles reversed to me is a knight that still makes it to the finish line, but he hits a lot of hurdles along the way. There is significant delays, financial hardship as well. 
Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Tell me more about this Four of Wands. Emperor reversed. Aries energy here. Again, the feeling of not having control over the situation, of feeling powerless. So the delays, someone's very frustrated with the delays because they're used to getting things done. Interesting. So let me look at this Emperor reversed over here. Tell me about the Emperor reversed over here. Justice reversed. This Emperor is upset because something's unfair to them. Something was a bad... Something was not just could be a libra that you're dealing with here tell me more for this emperor reversed tell me more for this emperor reversed four of wands reversed wow so there was no stability no structure no harmony and and this emperor feels like that was unfair how things happen how things ended up tell me about this two of wands thank you Hermit, someone's really thinking about this decision. Sign of Virgo here. Tell me more about this Two of Wands. Someone's really thinking about this decision that they need to make. They've withdrawn to make this decision to think about it from all angles, Empress. I think it has to do with the partnership here. There's an Emperor and an Empress here. The Empress is upright though, so I feel like this could be you, Sagittarius, or this person, see, yeah, this person um, sees you as this empress, possibly. Someone attractive, someone with value. The empress knows her worth. So I think like this empress is thinking, I don't have to put up with this crap. <laughs> Tell me about the nine of cups reversed. Thank you. King of wands, and that flipped in the air. Again, with that feeling of, Someone's like not happy with the way things turned out. They're not emotionally fulfilled. Five of Cups reversed. They miss someone too. It's almost like they're pissed that someone screwed things up when it, when it could have been so good. And it's like, we could have had it all. You were my wish fulfillment and you had to go and screw it up. And I hate you for it, but I still miss you. So let's look over here at the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. Oh, this person's in love. This person wants to express how they feel. But look at this. I have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. The Moon reversed. Sign of Pisces there. Um, so this is telling me there's going to be some seriously shocking revelation at the worst possible time. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is bad timing. This is bad fortune. This is having bad luck, being stuck, things not moving forward. And then with the moon reverse, it's like something's going to get revealed or um, you're going to see something clearly here. With Page of Swords, I feel like someone's going to find something out because they've been sticking their nose and <laughs> doing research about certain stuff and then they're going to be shocked at what they find. <laughs> That's how, that's when I'm seeing that message very clearly. This could also be someone looking at you on social media um, or vice versa. And there's like something surprising that you see. Tell me about the three of wands reversed. This could be an apology with the knight of cups. Someone could be apologizing for the past. Tell me about the three of wands reversed. The devil. Wow. Sign of Capricorn there. So I feel like this person... Um, Stopped waiting for something. It's almost like... It's almost like they, they were just... What kept them waiting so long was the unhealthy attachment, the obsession, the, the temptation of something. Or this person's just obsessing over the fact that they can't get to the destination they want to get to, that they can't, that they can't even expect something coming their way anymore. It's like this person's obsessing over that. Tell me more about this three of wands reversed. 
sign of Capricorn here. Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, kind of reverse. Yeah, this person is obsessed about how to make this offer in a way that it's accepted. They're thinking, which way do I make this offer? Um, they're either they're going from confused, they finally make a decision, and then they change their mind. Um, they also are thinking that this person that they want to offer love to might not be interested anymore. And they're like obsessed over this. I feel like they're also blocked. It's like like the timing is not right here for some reason. So tell me about this Ten of Wands with this Ace of Swords reversed. What's this Ten of Wands with this Ace of Swords reversed? Six of Swords. Okay, what else? Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords. So someone's dropping a burden and uh, like leaving. Avoiding a tower moment. What else? Can you tell me? Thank you. Eight of Cups reversed. Wow, this person wants to go back. They they want to go back to the past. I feel like the past and how things didn't work out, what was said, what wasn't said, is a burden to this person. And so they it's like all they can do is like wanting to go back and avoid. It's like they don't want a tower moment to happen to them. And I feel like the tower moment would be both of you like never being together or speaking again. Yeah, Knight of Swords reverse. This person, I feel like they're not the best communicator. They might not know how to communicate or they're just kind of like a terrible communicator. They say things in the worst possible way possibly here. Or this is just someone who um, they're not able to move forward. Their messages enter is blocked or, or the truth or honesty that they want to express is, is almost like there's something that turns that on its head. What do I have behind that? Ten of Swords reversed and Seven of Pentacles reversed. This person possibly feels that too much time has passed. I feel like you have improved your, your situation and this person is just kind of like, I don't know. They're like, is it going to be enough? Is this going to even go anywhere? Are they going to take me back? Are they going to, are we going to be able to heal the ending that we had? They want the Ten of Cups with you. They want Ace of Pentacles with you. Is it going to be enough? It'll be up to you, Sagittarius. If it's going to be enough for you. Let's pull some Romance Angels here. Any other messages for Sagittarius spirit regarding love, May 2020? Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love, May 2020? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There is some sort of attachment situation here that I sense. This unable to let go, unable to... It's like somebody misses someone here, but you know what I mean? It's like you guys have some, like some sort of attachment to each other. Let your friends help you. This person could be talking to your friends to see how you're doing, spying on you, um, talking to their friends about how to approach you. What else for Sagittarius? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience... More love in your present moments. This person is possibly coming to you with an apology. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. <sighs> Jesus. Unrequited love at the bottom of the deck. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's nothing in these cards that tell me this is a love situation or this is headed towards a union or a partnership at this time. I feel like if you are interested in getting back together with this person, this other person is going to go through so many hurdles to even get you to listen to them. I feel like one of you, there could be a chance that one of you has already moved on from this relationship. One person's over it, one person wants it, that kind of energy. 
I feel like what's going on in the world right now is also kind of like a, a blockage or a challenge here. So in the extended, I'm going to look at the challenges to this connection, what's blocking this connection. Um, what is this Knight of Cups true intentions and where is this headed? I'm going to look at all of that in the extended. So if you're interested in that, check out the description box below. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, all that information is down below as well. Thank you so much for watching Sagittarius. And um, let me know if this resonated in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And take care.